We're in the snakes that got Vic Magnolia Magnolia fired. On um, what they said, right? Because it'll go. Right, 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 whatever, whatever. She couldn't whatever. remember. My only enemy is time. Crime almost always pays. Now it puts you in the grave, and no one else could save you. But I wanted to go over some of her tweets recently against Vic. Uh, the biggest thing is she came out against him with a huge, long, like, essay. It was in Polygon, you know, real credible source and all these other... Why is Polygon not a credible source? Polygon's a well-respected games journalist magazine. Like, they've been making content for a very long time. They make arguably one of the best uh, shows right now. The uh, They've hired somebody really good. They've done, like, the best thing since Cracked and like... I would say that Polygon's like a legitimate. Yeah, you know I mean, like if you were to if you were to like reference the Dilly Show or Jesse Peterson, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, okay, Jesse Lee Peterson is a fucking scumbag that propagates fake news, and so does Dilly, and so do you. But here's the okay, but I want you to listen to the tone of this. Other places, and she's talking about how he slammed her up against the bar and was like pulling her hair and all this stuff. But there was little details that she couldn't remember. We're gonna find out she's quite the hateful person. That's it? No comment on what Vic may or may not have done? Here's the thing. Uh, I happen to know that when guys get an an ounce of fucking power, they usually act like dickheads about it. Oh, Michael, how do you know that? Well, okay, if he's going to go by anecdotal evidence, then I get, I get to. Because he's not going by anything. He's just like posturing whatever the fuck he wants to posture, right? He says he reads it in the tone that he wants to read it. Because all I read here is somebody legitimately angry. And we'll get to that in a minute. But, like, this fucker is, like, he 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 frames it like, ah, oh, well, she's just saying this stuff, that he did this and this. Ugh, oh, how can, can you believe it? And you're like, yeah? Look at him. He looks like a fucking perv. And then you're like, and then people are, like, demanding fucking evidence evidence. Tell me how that works. Can you tell me how that works? If their dick isn't out of their pants and they're wanking it in front of you or whatever the fuck, you like who has the quick straw McGraw to have their phone out to have a video evidence of it? What is it their job to do like an elaborate sitcom prank where you like set him up so that he's in a position where he acts normal and then you get it? What it what do you want? Because when they do that, you'll just call it entrapment. Do you see what I'm saying? Like there's no playing by your rules because you'll change them to fit your narrative just like every other Christian, right? Just like every other person with their own agenda. You're always trying to get to, to Z. It is irrelevant what if it's Y plus W or X plus Z or X plus T or whatever. You're always going to get Z. You've predetermined Z. Whatever the other numbers are, you will make them fit. So you've decided that Funimation has fired them because of these people specifically. You say early on that all of the people, I'm talking from writers to producers to other voice actors, went to Funimation and told them if they don't get rid of them, if they don't get rid of Vic, they're going to quit. So what would you do as Funimation? Do you, do you see what I'm saying? So, okay. So then you also go all of the produce. You've, you've listed multiple jobs where people are going, no, working with Vic sucks. He sucks. Like, let's take, I want to take some things out of the equation. I'll do a light. I, like you guys love doing these stupid ass analogies during debates, but I'll give you a fucking hypothetical and you tell me if it's still okay. A beloved voice actor who's done a character for a really long time but he's just shitty to everyone he works with. He's just really shitty. Is he is is he great? Eh. I mean, he's serviceable for the part that he's picked. I don't remember Ed's voice. Oh, well, if it isn't my favorite personification of death, the dead bird skeleton. What are you doing in town, dead bird skeleton? What's that? Oh, you're here to tell me all about how you should like and subscribe to this video because if I get more engagement, I'll be happy. Even a thumbs down helps, you fucking assholes. Does that track? Like, I don't know Vic's voice from a lineup. Do you know whose voice I know from a lineup? 
The guy who plays Jet Black in Cowboy Bebop. I don't know his name name, but I know Tara Strong's voice, and she does a lot of different characters. I know Trez McNeil's voice, I, but she does different characters, but I can tell, and it takes me a second. I go, that's Trez McNeil, and, it, I, and I'm usually right. I know John DiMaggio's voice, even though he's very good at manipulating his voice. It took me a while in something like... Um, uh, uh, oh, what is that fucking thing called? Chowder? The Adventures of Chowder, whatever it is, where he plays a. Uh, uh, I can't remember. Rattle, rattle. You know what I mean. All right, John DiMaggio. He's a great guy. Uh, oh, hey, you know what's funny about all of these voice actors that I keep coming out with? Uh, uh, what is her name? Tara. It's not Tara Strong. It's, um. oh my God. L Lisa Orbitz is my favorite anime actress of all time. And if she's still working, if I get any kind of animation budget and I have a plucky female character at all, I'm casting her as that character. I love her as a voice actress. I think she's amazing. I don't think about Vic Mignogna at all. And it might be because I'm not a big Dragon Ball Z fan or whatever. But here's the thing. If you're a big fan of something, it should be irrelevant to you. Uh, like the voice actor being a bad person shouldn't diminish the art for you. And in fact, if you're defending the art, then you would be the first person that would want a person to change that voice to a, a person that isn't going to go down in history as, you know, Roy Moore from Alabama. You know what I mean? Like Roger Moore. Was his name Roger Moore? You don't want, like Vic Mignogna is going to go down in history as a creepy pervert and, and, Everyone that he worked with thought he was an asshole on top of that. But uh, anyway, uh, I want to get to some of the stuff that's like specifically about Mars Girl. Like he, I don't know if it's actually on here or not, though. It might be just like everybody around it. Or these are just particular voice actresses and, and people like or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we'll, real quick, we'll do this really quick. Because of his religion of... We I under Look at this. Young men of tomorrow... You know, I'm sure she was probably the one of the best friends to him, and she just throws them under the table like that. There's something funny going on here. What? I don't want to talk about that right now because it doesn't make any sense, but we'll move on. And I thought I would end it on this fun tweet of DC Douglas saying, Don't be this guy. Hey, men of today and young men of tomorrow, educate yourself on enthusiastic consent, toxic masculinity, Victim blaming, religion, induced sexual repression, rape stats and boss reporting ratio, and the history of the mother effing patriarchy. Hashtag me do. Hey, uh, Yellow, I know why you don't swear too, you fucking coward. It's because your 10 minute video's gotta be clean so that you don't get YouTube flagged, so that you can dog whistle a bunch of fucking anti uh, women bullshit and be a general dickwad without anyone really noticing you. So you can get your 100,000 views over time and make your 200 bucks a month, you fucking greasy piece of shit. I will fucking physically fight you. I will fight you in real life. I just thought that was a really stupid, funny tweet that he put out, but. My point here is with uh, friends like those, who needs enemies, right? And What's your point? These are the people that were his friends. But look at this. Look at this. We had that Sean and uh, Sonny video. That's old, right? And these people, you're going to tell me, didn't have something going on. Now, I can't prove any what? of that. This is all speculation, right? All opinion. But when you piece all of this oh, together. Oh, I'm a comedian. Oh, this is a religion. really funny. It screams of an op. It screams at op? a lot of people. An op? In op, you think just ops happen all the time? You think ops are happening all the time? You fucking little nerd, man! Because of his politics, because of his religion, and the way that he, you know, maybe it's because he's a mega star. Well, was I think his career, unfortunately, might be kind of hurt. Yeah, thank fuck. Hopefully, he can get around it. But oh no, another white guy jealous, ruined, and they wanted him out. Mm. Was he? I think people were jealous, and they wanted him out. There's a bunch of receipts. You're such a fucking coward. This guy's pathetic. Like, what's pathetic to me is how much people like Yellow Flash 2 and other people have wrapped their personalities into other people. Do you really think that there's a conspiracy because they were jelly? Oh, baby. That's cute. No, what happened was a bunch of people finally came forward because the Me Too movement broke a dam. It broke a big dam. 
Like, change the channel is a movement that I know personally that you don't know anything about that I'm sure he has a video about somewhere that he doesn't know shit about. And then, like, and then people like Linkara defend whoever, and then they come out. I guess this guy stabbed a comic. It's pretty funny. So, okay, I want to talk about something really fast. Okay. In, uh, uh, enthusiastic consent is pretty good idea. Like, okay, toxic masculinity means something. Victim blaming means something. Religious, religion-induced sexual repression, rape stats, and false report ratios. These are words that mean something that people dog whistle all the fucking time. And they mean things that are really important. So I don't think Yellow Queef is watching this because he's a pathetic piece of human garbage that shits his own, into his own mouth. And that's how he eats, feeds himself. He literally bends his ass, his legs over his head and opens his mouth and shits directly into his own mouth. I don't have proof of this. He literally does do this, though. Um, it's on his Patreon. It's like one of the latter goals. I think it's like $2,000. So these things actually do mean something. So I want to go through, just in case uh, Yellow Coward is watching right now. Um, enthusiastic consent means everybody's on board for everything involved. You don't trick a finger up the butt. These are things that men used to think were socially acceptable. No, when, when? Okay, I want you to watch a 90s rape comedy and get back with me. Or, or an 80s one or a 70s one. They get rapier the further you go back. Isn't that weird? Okay, it's called progression. It's called progressives for a reason. You guys always want to make it sound like progress progressives are like backwards thinking somehow. And it's in the word. Like, you can't get English past me. I study it a lot lately because you guys keep trying to change how words mean, but they don't. Like, they don't change just because you guys have butthurt feelings about it. Facts don't care about your fucking feelings. Okay. Toxic masculinity is this. Calling, like, a guy defending somebody. You're just defending them because you want to fuck that girl. That's toxic masculinity. Assuming that the man is the breadwinner of the relationship is toxic masculinity. Saying that a man can't do womenly things or show emotion or... Because here's the thing. Here's the tricky thing about human beings. When we aspire, like when we ascribe that men have these things, leadership, courage, assertiveness, and women have, you know, humility, protectiveness, empathy, you realize that we are all potentially women to start and your level of empathy may vary. And as someone with really high empathy, I can read this guy like a goddamn book. I don't need to read, watch this whole video or any of his whole videos to know what he's doing is being a reactionary. You're dismissive, my dude, because everything you talk about is feelings. You feel this way. You're... I'm speculating this and this and this. It's not fun to speculate in this manner because it looks like you're coming from a position of authority because you went out of your way to get a like Vegas or something and you edit your videos. So I just want people to see this for what it is because it's not, it's not that this guy actually cares. He has no soul. He has no empathy. He doesn't give a shit. He's just protecting himself in the position. Like if he wants to be... Like, he wants to make sure there's precedent because he's probably raped somebody in the past. Like, the this is where I'm at. He gets on this chick, on this lady. Uh, she He gets on her about getting mad. But I only trust people who actually get mad. If you politic, if you censor yourself in your videos by saying this effing or whatever, the, take the D out of your ear, she's actually angry. She's actually very publicly angry. What is this gotcha journalism? She put it in public. She's mad. Like spin it all you want to. People who are mad, generally, they're not lying about this stuff. And if they are, they can't keep it up this long. It's too exhausting. It really is exhausting to get mad about a lie. So I don't believe he be feels anything. That this whole video, all it is, is it's him defending his current rapes that he's gotten away with or future rapes he intends to do but you know i mean i'm just it's just conjecture like that's just like i mean i don't have any proof of this or anything yay mo bovine
Tongue would slap your brains out trying to get to 